In this tutorial, we're going to take a basic image. We'll go process through the camera wrap, bring to a little bit more in details and got a warm look. And we'll retouch and creating somewhat magical with a ray look inside the forest. So let's go ahead and start working on that. Let's go start working on this image inside the camera raw. And notice right here we have it, our original image. Uh, first things, what we want to do, it is at least reduce chromatic abbreviation. Sometimes you maybe want to also enable profile correction. You notice right here, as it does, it remove vignetting and a little bit um, stretch our image. So it's try to compensate for this distortion that was done with the lens. And um, if you have it, ixt data in your image the camera raw with read for example right here it's tell what lenses was shooting and all this other additional information so next i want to take those highlights and bring details inside of them we still have it information because it was shot on um with a 10 bit information save in the image but you notice we have a higher contrast kind of between those elements so what i'm doing take my highlights down and you can see we bring details and we'll take also shadows and bring just slightly up we don't want to go all crazy because we'll introduce digital noise but just bring a little bit so next we'll go inside the adjustments and with luminosity on specific channels we actually can bring a little bit more notice right here as i'm moving we have it some changes like in this area so we'll bring color same on our greens want to bring a little bit depth with contrast on these colors also we can look on the yellows we can bring as well and the blue will be for our sky and you can see right on the back and small elements was affecting so i will actually bring this down and a little bit on a cyan color if we go right here you can see just a little bit affecting okay next um saturation we can bring down our saturation on green if you want to bring a little bit more alive but just a little bit the other ones will go in calibration. So right here, it's kind of very interesting um, section and tool that can help us to introduce colors or actually take them specifically on uh, red, green, and blue and hue in those channels. So you can see as we modify, we can bring foliage right here from colder. We can go to a little bit more warm. And I want to bring a little bit more warm palette, kind of unify in this case. Okay, same for the greens ones. You can see we can go yellow or very cold. And in some cases, it's very interesting if you're going with a cold example here and a magenta, so you have this um, fairy tale kind of look. But in this case, probably want to bring a little bit to the warmer, a little bit colors. And maybe just a little bit on the reddish. So almost like warm swampy look okay um next we'll go inside let's look what we have on our highlights again and we can pop up all the way highlights you can see right here where we have them and we can bring a little bit to the blue color and bring down saturations so just a little bit blue out the sky same we can do with our shadows and you can see where the red where the shadows complain so we can go a little bit orange warm again and bring saturations just slightly so just add a little bit more color to these darker areas okay at this point let's go ahead and click open image now this image is open inside the photoshop so for this one i want a little bit flat and i want to bring some of those elements out we'll do this by flattening our image we can do it curves so we're going to select curves and we'll go to luminosity nice things about the luminosity mode it's not color color luminosity it will affect only white uh, only the black and white it does not touch anything on saturation so if we bring up you can see we can bring a little bit shadows up without increasing saturations and same we can bring some stuff down but i think just bring a little bit up on total dark it will bring those details that we kind of missing okay if you want to bring mid tones down we can just a little bit bring on the middle and restore so a little bit flat and give it us this uh, interesting look okay we'll see how we can do with colors everything but we can add additional options to bring more magic to this world have it race so let's see how we can do those 
Uh, one thing we can create additional mask just on a light and several ways we will do this one I want to create a new layer let's bring this layer above our correction and we'll go to image adjustment and we'll turn to black and white and as we turn black and white I'm interested only in the areas with the sky so I can take my foliage green reduce saturation maybe reduce a little bit more on yellows and as well on the reds and I'll pop up my blue out color so right here you can see with our blues start kind of poking out okay right there let's go click OK before just again we'll just take reds down and we'll blue up okay at this point here's our way the sky visible to make rays we'll just need it make from center kind of going blur out so we'll go filter blur and we're going to the radial blur and instead spin we want zoom let's get better quality and just increase a little bit so let's go click OK and you notice what's happening it is creating almost like ray gumming next all what we need to do is switch this mode to the screen and you can see right here we have it our rays of course we don't need all ray everywhere we can just keep it on one place we can modify this by selecting creating mask take our tool be sure it's 10 percent opacity off and just you know clean up in some of those areas but it will create this almost like rays going around okay there maybe a little bit clean up let's also add additional ray glowing because this is kind of too strong so we'll hide this for now we'll again create a new layer this we'll call rays and this will be area glow so same things what we did before we go to image adjustment we'll convert to black and white we'll take red yellows greens okay, and this was up if you want you can also add a little bit to the greens if you want it but I'll just take a little bit down click OK but in this time we'll go with the blur and we'll use go in blur let's pop up just a little bit higher right here we can see it's blob of what we needed and we'll switch this to this screen as well so you can see we have an additional those glowing areas now we'll combine with our array and we have it somewhat looking like magic force again let's take a little bit down and a little bit down on a race we don't want too much we just want this add extra glowing to this okay next let's create um, some vignetting to this and to do this we'll go to do uh, create curves switch curves actually we'll switch later let's preview first so we'll take down this top high so it's all black select tools we'll go select the frame and we'll just fill up this with a black color so mask you can see right here we create mask on our curves and in a feathering as we open we'll just bring feathering so nice things about this type of the masking that I can change easy to white to any other color but now I want to black and I will switch to soft light so here you can see we have this extra framing we could put it this frame just a little bit below so our array kind of almost shooting through our frame you can see the rays coming as so well add a little bit more blending together okay we have a frame we have this let's go to combine press Control shift alt e let's take all layers and combine them together and i want to add a little bit blur to this so we'll go this below um actually let's you know what let's delete this one disable i just want race leave it alive kind of untouch it so we'll create layer com by combine all visible we'll go filter blur gallery and we'll go to the iris blur and what i want to do it's a stretch a little bit I want to kind of get blurred right there in a the corner and this is about right I think okay maybe 
so we don't want this we want just about maybe 16 blur create this kind of magic land let's click get push button so we'll add our blur now you can see on the corners we'll add our arrays to magic land and let's go to create new curve now I want to add a little bit of the coloring to this to do this I'm going to color mode that won't affect my contrast or lighting just only colors and we'll take a blue bring shadows a little bit more on the blue type and bring down on the middle as well we'll go with the red and here you can go with a quite a bit warmer but I want to do a little bit cold look and I'll bring this mid-tones a little bit up okay. so right here you can see we kind of add additional dimension with our colors let's go next create another curve I'll switch to luminosity and this will help me just overall maybe just brighten a little bit our image we can play with a little bit darker how you want it I think it will just just a little bit take the contrast down so we can see a little bit more details this way okay and right here we have our magical forest we create from simple shot that kind of almost was boring so let's go combine this and we can see it was before and after create a little bit more magic look with our image